in camp, man, you're aspiring the pound for pound number one Crawford, man, yeah. in preparation for Oscar Valdez. Crawford's three divisions bigger than you. They give you more confidence. Knowing coming April 30th, Oscar Valdez won't be able to bring anything to the table that will surprise you at all. Uh, yeah, it do, because Crawford is a big um, fighter compared to me. But, uh, and I know how great he is, like he's a great fighter. So it gives me a lot of confidence knowing that I can go in there with Crawford and uh, box good. And Valdez is not on Crawford level. He's not in that same sentence when we talk about the great Crawford. So uh, just seeing, you know, that I can hold my own with fighters like that is definitely a confident booster and it definitely makes me feel good. What was your thoughts on Jeremiah knocking out Burchell? I mean, he, he turned out to be a really dangerous fighter, but you completely dismantled him. Yeah, I just feel like um, people need to take back their words on what they said about me. Um, a lot of people were saying, oh, he was a novice fighter. I should have got rid of him and all that kind of stuff. So people got to eat their words because he's a lot better than people give him credit for. Um, we see that he got the power in his gloves. And uh, he got some nice combinations that he put together if you stand there in front of him. Unfortunately, I ain't standing there in front of him. You know, I boxed him all night. And people can say what they want, but at the end of the day, the next fight they say I'm a great just because I look good with Jamel. Um, style make fights, and uh, he's a Absolutely. great fighter. All right, this is Dante's Boxing Nation by way of Aki TV. I'm here with uh, Coach Dirk. Coach, how is he looking at camp, man? How is he looking at training? Excellent, excellent. April 30th is gonna be on, um, it's gonna be lit, it's gonna be fireworks. Vegas, Vegas going, going up, Vegas going up. We seen him sparring Crawford, man. That's next level, man. If he's sparring Crawford, what is Valdez gonna be able to do on fight night? I mean, can you talk more about that? Ooh. With all due respect to um, Eddie Reynoso and, and the Valdez camp team, much respect to those guys, but I honestly don't feel like those guys got a shot. <laughs> we working our ass off. We taking those guys very serious. Um, Shakur Hungry. This is his this is platform, his stage, his opportunity. We've been waiting a long time for this. Better believe we're going to seize the moment and capitalize on it. Maximum effort is going down. Trust it. I'm here with a special up-and-coming boxer, man. Why don't you introduce yourself to everybody, man? My name is Anton Cobb from Chicago, Illinois. We reside in Houston now. J Prince Boxing and Scorch Beats. Listen, man, uh, what fighters would you say motivated you growing up? Like, what fighters do you look up to? Uh, that I look up to, like, uh, I used to watch Friday Night Fights with, like, my pops and stuff, like uh, Floyd Mayweather, uh, Zab Judah, uh, Terrence Crawford, uh, talking about young Terrence Crawford with the dreads. A lot of people probably don't even know that. But uh, like Earl Spence, uh, yeah, just like those type of guys. How do you describe your style? Uh, I'm like more of a boxer, but like my first pro debut, I had a knockout early, so people like kind of labeling me as like a knockout artist, but I feel like I'm a boxer. I work my jab, I'm slick defense. I, I like when I study film, I study like Shakur Stevenson, Terrence Crawford. Uh, Sweet P, Whitaker, uh, like those guys. That's some interesting ones. That's some good ones, hit, man. So, yeah. What type of amateur experience do you have, bro? I had over 100 amateur fights. I was 97 and 11 as an amateur. Yeah, but. Yeah. All right, let's get a couple of predictions from you of, the, of, of, of bouts to come. We got some special ones coming up, too. We got just Cole Stevenson versus Valdez. You know, I'm biased anyway, but right. even regardless, man, I've been in camp. I mean, I've been in training camp with this man for 10 weeks every right. day, like seeing his work, after seeing how hard he worked. Um, I got Shakur Stevenson unanimous or about a knockout. I'm, I'm really choosing a knockout. Um, one of the best guys I've ever been in the ring with. Humble guy, young, up and coming. He's the best in the sport. Best hands down, Shakur Stevenson.